Exactly, do you want in return? I was kind of hoping for a can of rat meat, maybe an old toothbrush. It's useless. The most I can give you for that is a used condom. Everyone used to love Batman back in the day. Personally, I feel that Val Kilmer was criminally underrated. Val who? Exactly my point. Everyone became so obsessed with Michael Keaton. Val Kilmer is just as good a Batman. Look, people used to like Batman. Not anymore. If I'm being honest, I'm getting real sick of this worthless pop culture crap you keep bringing me. It's bad enough you have to wear some of it on you. Like that stupid keychain. It just dangles and definitely ain't easy on the eyes. I really don't want to have to make another complaint about you to human resources. Hey, Jeff. Oh, uh, yeah. Forgot the design. Okay, look. Since you're really desperate, I'll help you out. I was planning on going to the south side tonight to get some copper. Unfortunately, Razor put me on patrol duty later this afternoon, so I can't. If you'll go to the south side for me and collect some copper scraps, I'm willing to give you anything you want for my stand. Anything? For some copper? This sounds way too easy for me. What's the catch? There is no catch. Just go to the south side and get me the copper. It's hard enough to find it in populated areas like this place. Most of it was taken a couple of years ago by those drifters who came through. I remember those guys. I remember when they took my Baby Yoda plush in the middle of the night while I was in the outhouse. Those bastards. Will you get me the copper or not? Yes, I'll, I'll have it to you right away. <laughs> After all, I am the second best scavenger in the state. Who's the first? My cousin. What a loser. What are you looking at, Val Kilmer? Not now, Jeff. If I were caught, where would I be? Hey, copper! <laughs> Hello? Val Kilmer? Is that you? Or 
hey there, little guy. You almost made me kiss my pants. Yes, you did. Oh, man, you're such a wonderful little hedgehog. You are, I bet you have a lot of hedgehog friends. Oh, you're such a cutie. I got you now, Skippetown. <laughs> <laughs> to you. You know, I can't say that I blame him. <laughs> oh, you do smell pretty damn delicious. Yeah, <laughs> like a roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Who are you guys? I'm Wolfbane, and this is my stepbrother Grizzly. We're the most feared cannibals of the South Side. We've captured and eaten more people than any other cannibal ever has. Oh, gosh. Grizzly over here is the one who does all the hunting and captures trespassers like you. I'm the one who does all of the, what would you call it, um, slaying, yeah, the, um, skinning. <laughs> the cooking. The two of us make a pretty damn good team if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, I love a smart hunter, ain't I? <laughs> damn right you are. Grizzly is probably the smartest human hunter that I've ever seen. He's got a really high IQ. Just watch this. Hey, Grizzly, what number comes after one? Uh, two. Yeah, that's right. And what do you do when you drink way too much water? Uh, pee. Yeah, and what rhymes with raw? Do raw! Wow, I, uh, I wouldn't, couldn't imagine what it would be like if you had a low IQ. Yeah, neither can I. But that's beyond the point! The point is I am going to show you no mercy when I'm done cutting you up, scavenger. Now, do you have any last questions? I do, actually. Why do you guys have a pet zombie? Oh, Paul? Oh, yeah, well, um, Grizzly wanted a pet dog or a cat for Christmas, but I couldn't find him one of those, so I just found a zombie, and that was it. <laughs> Paul's 16 in zombie years. <laughs> Once I'm done cutting you up, I think I'm gonna make you into a scavenger still. Oh, with some, uh, parsley and... Diced onions. <laughs> oh, sick. What's this? Is it? Dip. Is it Pac Man? Is Pac Man? What will be? Hey, Grizzly. Hey, Grizzly, get over here. Get over here, Grizzly. Look, look at the scavenger hat on him. Pac-Man. You remember Pac-Man? When we were kids, we used to go to the arcade and play Pac-Man. <gasps> Pac-Man, I remember that game. I had a high score. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, do you remember when we were done playing Pac-Man, we would go to that restaurant that we used to like, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, KFC. KFC, I love KFC. Yeah. Oh, 
And remember that guy used to be in the buckets and he would say, it's finger licking good. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Wow. Do you remember that other uh, restaurant that was next to KFC who had that freaky pedophile clown as their spokesperson? Uh, Ronald McDonald? No, I'm talking about Jared Fogle from Subway, but yeah, him too. No. <laughs> oh, uh, remember, remember, remember when they had like that, uh... <laughs> yeah. And then, and then do you remember when that? Oh my God, I get out of here! Guy in Japan. Yeah, what a weirdo! <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute! Like shitty remake. Yeah, <laughs> like when they remade Aladdin and the Lion King. Oh wow, those suck. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then do you remember at the Academy when Moonlight won Best Picture and La La Land didn't? Well, I mean, personally, I think Moonlight's better than any stupid musical. Uh-huh. 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 I mean, uh -huh. that's like saying that Joan Rivers is funnier than Kathy Griffin. Hey, well, guys! <laughs> hey, you guys remember the time that those two cannibals kidnapped that scavenger and then he killed them with their own pet zombie? Um... <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> you're about to! Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe those two cannibals remembered Pac-Man. I thought I was the only one who remembered Pac-Man. Or that La La Land lost Best Picture. Or, or KFC! You know, it sure does feel good to know that some people remember the good old days like I do. Oh, son of a bitch.